Hello again. Um, we've been talking about applications of cryptography, and we're going to talk about a final one today, uh, certification. So what's the problem that we're trying to solve? Well, here's the, here's the problem. When you're on a distributed system and you're dealing with people that you may not know personally or may not know at all, um, how do you know that the key they send you, the public key, for example, uh, is really theirs? And that's what a certificate is for. So a certificate is a way of one party vouching for a binding between uh, an identity and a public key. And that's called a certificate, right? You uh, encounter this kind of thing in the real world all the time. I mean, suppose you have a, a hailstorm and your roof is damaged and the next day fly-by-night roofer shows up on your doorstep. Well, how do you know that uh, they're a reliable company? Well, maybe you call up the Better Business Bureau or the Chamber of Commerce and say, what do you know about these folks? You know, or do they have a good reputation? That's the same thing that you want to have happen in a distributed context online. Okay, so um, how does it work? Well, remember, we ha if we have a public key infrastructure, a PKI in place, then people have these public keys and private keys and if I have someone's public key, then I can send them a message confidentially because only they can decrypt it because only they have the private key. And also, uh, if they sign a message and send it to me, uh, then I know it really came from them because I can decrypt it with their public key. You know, and that, that works great in, in RSA and in other uh, public key infrastructure. We've got to have two different sets of keys to do both of those functions, right? But the issue then becomes, how do I know that the public key, uh, which B sent me, say, really is B's public key and not somebody else's, and, and that it wouldn't actually be that sent it, but, you know, C. Um, and so what, it, what I want to do is have some way of knowing that there's a binding between B's identity and this public key that I believe to have come from B, and that's what a certificate does for me. Okay, so a certificate then is sort of the electronic equivalent of a letter of introduction. It's some other party saying, yes, you can trust that this key and this identity in fact correspond, that this in fact is the public key for that person. Uh, a certificate is constructed with, uh, with uh, digital signatures and hash functions, and there has to be some certifying authority, i.e. the third party that we trust to uh, give us that, that assurance. Okay, so how might it work? Well, suppose X is the president of some company and Y is her subordinate. And, and so Y asks X for one of these certificates to say, you know, I I'm, I'm need to go out in the field and I need to meet people that I haven't previously dealt with, so would you certify that this really is my public key? So what happens is that Y then securely passes to X uh, a token which is a representation of Y's identity and Y's public key. And then X hashes those two values together and signs that with uh, X's private key, okay? And then produces uh, a message which contains Y's identity, Y's public key, and this signed hash value. And then that becomes uh, the certificate. Okay. So then how does, how does Y use this thing? Well, Y, say, has to deal with Z, so Y presents this certificate to Z. Now, what, what assurances does Z have? Well, what Z does is uh, takes the signed portion out, verifies that the signature really is X's signature, and to do that must have X's public key somehow, uh, recomputes the hash of the first two values, which is Y and K sub Y, and compares that to the hash that it received in the signed value. If those two are the same, that's pretty high assurance that, uh, that those values weren't changed somehow uh, or corrupted. Um, then Z knows that X is the certifying authority and that X is essentially saying, you can trust that, that Y and Y's public key have this uh, association. Okay, so what have we said? Well, we need these certificates because we would like to develop this web of trust within a large distributed context in dealing with people that we don't know, or don't have 
any particular reason to believe, uh, then a trusted individual can vouch for uh, another party by certi certifying this binding between the identity and the public key that's presented. And this is presented and packaged up in the form of a certificate as we've described. And then a third party can check the validity of this binding. And if everything went okay, then they're uh, entitled to believe that this binding really is valid. Thank you.